right, so let's get right to this. Uh, I honestly thought, from what I was seeing uh, on, I guess, beginning Thursday, maybe, of last week, that the government shutdown would be over by now. Really? I'd re- Optimistic from, from man. What, from what I was reading, it seemed like the, that poll came out showing Republicans were, were tanking. But remember, it goes by district. <sighs> well, anyway. Crazy in the districts. I thought the shutdown would be over by now. Uh, but over the weekend, uh, no progress. And uh, while hopes for uh, a deal to end the government shutdown and avert the U.S. default uh, turned to the Senate on Saturday, as House Republicans said their talks with the White House were effectively over. Right. So um, they got sidelined. That's that's I'm reading from uh, The Hill here. And there's a reason why. Because there's a very interesting, they have an article here about how uh, Boehner reports no progress and uh, how you know, many House Republicans emerged from Saturday's party meeting striking a defiant tone and suggesting they would not simply accept a deal from the Senate. Um, but there's an interesting, uh, they spoke with uh, Virginia Rep. Morgan Griffith, who had some very interesting things to say. Uh, the rep says uh, on whether uh, Boehner will bring up the Senate legislation to the House floor for a vote. Uh, that's something the Speaker will have to decide. But if the Senate try, but if the Senate trying to create a time crunch, that's a time crunch that's damaging to the American people. <laughs> now, what's what's interesting about that is. The Hill continues, Griffith suggested the House should reject an unfavorable agreement from the Senate, even if it resulted in a debt, def- debt default that severely damaged the economy. Unbelievable. We have to make a decision that's right long term for the United States, says Rep. Morgan Griffith. Which is funny because just before they were talk- she, uh, the Rep. was talking about a time crunch that's damaging to the American people. But... Griffith goes on. He says, uh, bringing up, here we go, bringing up the American Revolution. (laughs) Griffith, a former majority leader of the Virginia House of Delegates, says, I will remind you that this group of renegades that decided that they wanted to break from the crown in 1776 did great damage to the economy of the colonies. (laughs) <laughs> they created the greatest nation and the best form of government, but they did damage to the economy in the short run. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is really what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with people who are living in a fantasy world where they are reliving the American Revolution, where Obama is some sort of, some sort of king, tyrannical uh, dictatorship, and... He's telling us what must be done. Like, I'm shutting down the government. You must all have Obamacare. Blah, 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 blah. I am Obama. And they view this as doing what's right for the American people. They are revolutionaries. This is what needs to be done. We are American patriots and heroes. And this is why we're in the position we are. Because they're delusional. And they believe these fantasies that, they, that, that they've created in their own mind about them being the new American revolution. It's, it's, it really is amazing. <laughs>